you can create 30 days worth of content in less than an hour. Just upload your video, choose your custom settings, click generate, make yourself a cup of coffee, come back to your computer five minutes later, and you've got videos with subtitles cropped with suggested captions ready to be posted on social. But we can take this even further. A successful strategy here to grow an audience on social media is to repurpose your long form videos into short form content and then post them daily across TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and even LinkedIn. And that is a lot of work. Now, not everybody has the budget or the resources to produce that volume of content consistently, but this is where V Clips comes in. Now, let's say it took you 30 minutes to find, edit, and repurpose one video. If you posted one video a day, seven days a week, that's a whole 15 hours or two full days of work. And that's if you're quick. Now, with Veed Clips, you can get the same amount of content in under an hour, saving you 14 hours off your time. Your boss is going to be impressed with how fast you work. And now you're going to have two full days to focus on whatever it is that you want. So now, any podcaster, marketer, solopreneur, agency, or content creator can batch produce short form videos at the same rate as top creators such as Stephen Bartlett, Call Her Daddy, and Hot Ones. So here's exactly how Veed Clips works. First, on the results page here, we can see all the clips rendered from the video that I provided. Each clip has a style and settings that I applied, which we're going to get into in a little bit. And on top of that, each clip here gives you a title that lets you know what the clip is talking about. But you can also use it as a caption on your socials, and that's just going to save you time thinking of one when it comes to posting. You're also going to get the full transcription here so you know exactly what is said in each single clip. And lastly, you're going to get a scorecard for every clip. Now, this is going to give you an idea of how well your clip could perform on social media. The AI here is going to consider how likely your hook is to grab your viewer's attention, how memorable or interesting the clip is, how entertaining it is, and lastly, how likely it is to cause the viewer to engage with your social media. Now, the clips here, they're sorted from the highest score to the lowest. And these scores, think of them like a guideline. It doesn't actually know your audience as well as you do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these scores, combine them with how well you know your own audience, and then you can decide which clip is going to resonate the most with your viewers. And now let's look at the settings. So you can customize your clips here and then you can optimize them for socials. So in the Veed dashboard, the very first step here is to click on Veed Clips. And then we need to upload our full length video here by clicking upload a video. And then you're just going to select the video that you want to repurpose. And while our video is being processed by Veed's AI, we can customize it. Now, the first thing you want to select is the spoken language in your video. And Veed Clips works on more than 120 languages. Then after that, it's aspect ratio. And this is going to depend on where you're posting your clips. So portrait is usually going to be your best option. You know, vertical video is the most common format on social media currently. But let's say you're creating content for LinkedIn or you're hosting these on your own website. Then you can go ahead and select landscape. Next, we've got subtitles. And there is a bunch of different presets here to choose from. You've got a variety of static ones and animated ones just to make your clips more engaging. But if you don't quite like the suggested presets or let's say they don't fit your brand, you're going to choose the one that works most and keep watching because I'm going to show you how to change that later on in the video. Now below that, we've got video goals. So here you can choose if you want the highlights from your video, if you want the most insightful clips from your video, or if you want to choose the clips with the most potential to go viral. And then finally, max clip length. So auto here, that's going to give you a variety of clips based on the content within your video. So what's going to happen is you're going to get some short ones, you're going to get some long ones up to 60 seconds. But if you want your clips capped at a certain length, choose the option you prefer. And then all you have to do is click continue. Then the AI goes off and it takes all your settings into account and it starts editing for you, finding highlights, trimming your video, cropping your video into the correct format and adding the subtitles that you chose. All in the span of a few minutes. And then once your clips are done, Veed's going to send you an email with a link to your videos. As you can see here from my 15 minute video, Veed has generated nine clips all ready to be posted. And if we have a look, it is time for the pitch. So what you're going to include here is the following. You want to do an introduction. So you're going to say who you are, what it is you do, that you're I think that is a really good YouTube short, but you might be thinking, Lauren, these clips, they're not exactly giving Stephen Bartlett diary of a CEO. And you'd be right. So here's the thing. The AI, it isn't quite there yet, but it sure is a brilliant start and it's done all the heavy lifting for you. So before Veed Clips, this would have taken me, let's say an entire day, whereas I've just done this in 10 minutes. But we do need to bridge the gap between AI and Bartlett. So Veed provides you the project files to each of those short form videos. So you can go ahead and you can 
can tweak the final 10% to your liking, which the AI can't do yet. But give it time because I'm willing to bet that I'm going to be out of a job in a few years. Great. So next, we're going to customize our clips. So if we click on edit here, we can go the extra mile now to optimize these for social media. Now, remember the suggested title that Veed gives you at the start of each clip? We could add that as a text hook on the video. We can cut out any awkward pauses that the AI might have not detected yet. Or we could go as far as overlaying relevant images, stock footage, or even GIFs here just to provide more context for our viewer. And again, because we are in a full editor, we can customize everything. So anything else that you can think of, like background music, sound effects, transitions, etc. It can all be done right here in the editor. Now, let's take a look at the final result. It is time for the pitch. So what you're going to include here is the following. You want to do an introduction. So you're going to say who you are, what it is you do, that you're planning a visit to whatever the destination may be. And then you're going to say what you love about the place. And this is probably the most important bit. Brands love to hear what you love about them and why you love it. So again, this is where research comes into play. You're going to mention how beautiful the property is and you're going to... Now that is a good short. So as I was saying before, Stephen Bartlett who? In just a few clicks here, I've got a month's worth of content that I can schedule weeks in advance. So now that's done, I've got more time to grow my business. So go ahead and try Veed Clips. I've popped the link for you down in the description below. And if you have any questions, just ask away. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.